Are you hearing? Are you alright? Yeah. Water there if you ever need a drink, just a little sip. Just wait for a few people coming on. I'll just get this for the chat. There's one on. First one on, who is it? Please. Six on. Come on, guys. Can we more on that? This is Marty Cherry, the legend. 12 on. 16 on. Come on, guys. Keep coming up. Unbelievable story, this. Unbelievable. I've got your breaking news, if you want to call it that. Unbelievable. You'll never believe that in a million years what this man's got to tell you today. The truth. The truth. It's got to be told. Exactly. Come on, guys. 26 on. We'll go for another few more and we'll start. Just get this one. Yeah, just my wife's in the background, it's in the backup phone. <laughs> if you don't pull that wire off, that wire's being pulled in. Four thumbs up. Carol Edwards, hi, hi, Carol. James Hope, hi, Ryan. Yes, come all to share it to Facebook. All share it to Facebook, please. It's really, really unbelievable a story when you're going to hear this. And from the legend himself, Matty Turn, boxing trainer, 47 years, was it? 47 year. 47 year trainer, trained the great Lee Duffy, Peter O, marvellous people, Connie this car, good best friends with big Joey Egan. Right guys, it's Brian Cockrell on the Taxman Show, and welcome today, one of the most important people in my life, and a really good friend of mine, Marty Turner, boxing trainer, welcome to the show Marty. Brian, thanks for having me. Um, we're just going to speak today, what, 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 when did you start the boxing training Marty? Oh, I started the early doors there. It was 1972. Right. At the Greenstown Boys Club originally. That's where I first kicked off. Right. And then I, I moved to the old Greenstown, the old uh, um, St. Matthew's Church Hall in the uh, Oakwood Road in Greenstown. I bought the building. It was an old potato warehouse. And before that, it was a, um, a dance hall. Right. And uh, a talkie hitch and whatever. Years ago, that's what he used to call it. We used to have dancers in there and well, a nice big stage. Boy, Joey Brown used to be in there. He used to play his, uh, his uh, drummers in there. His drum kit. He used, yeah. to, used to, in fact, he used to put shows on in there. Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. So when 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 you started the boxing, um, what type of people have you trained in that gym um, well, over the years? What like quality style ones? Quality well? was obviously. I mean, Connie this car. Was he world champion? Well, well, he was the WBF world world champion. Unbelievable. And uh, his champion. And was um, he's a local Mills brother, didn't he? Yeah, a yeah. local lad from Greenstown. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, he's done, he done remarkably well, yeah. He was a good boxer, hadn't he, though, wasn't he? Anthony, Anthony. schoolboy yeah. champion. Yeah, brilliant. Um, junior ABA champion. Yeah. Uh, Peter, his brother. Yeah, Peter. Tommy. Right. All the O's. All really good, in yeah. fact, yeah. All, all the O's, yeah. All, so, all the O's, yeah. All the so you boxed Lee all the Lee, Lee Duffy as well? Yeah, Lee, Lee Duffy, Duffy to come in. Lee, Lee Duffy was... He came in early doors when he was about, uh, he would be around about 18, 13 year old. You looked uh, after him. looked after him for, a, for a few. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was getting bullied. Yeah. He was getting bullied at school. And uh, and 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 people older than him getting yeah. knocked about from the. Yeah. Yeah. From one so, poor and not that. How old are you now, Marty? 74. 74. Now, you decided to do a book called From Boys to Champs about all the uh -huh. lads you've trained uh -huh. over the years. Yeah. Uh, it was a 2019 with... Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, you said to me, what, what happened with the book? Who written the book? I wrote the book. The full book itself. The full book, I wrote right. it. Right. And, and the, and the uh, nieces, they typed it out for me. Right. And I got the book then um, uh, proofread by an uh, uh, English teacher. Who was at the uh, who was at the uh, King's Academy, right? And um, she put on what she thought of the book at the time, blah blah blah. And uh, she said it was remarkably, remarkably good, really right. good. She said, considering that you're doing it for yourself, that's all fair enough. So really, you, everything yeah. you've done, everything in the yeah, book, you've yeah, written everything, yeah. done everything. So then yeah. you needed a publishing. So where did you go? Yeah. Well, first off, I went to uh, Penguin. Right. It was on the it was on Penguin's on the table for about three months. Yes. And then 
they decided there was only three books left. There was mine and there's a couple more. And they decided not to do mine because there was too much boxing at the time. Right. So I decided to take the book away from Penguin. And anyway, and this time the, the wife was ill. She, she, had, she got cancer. Right. And of course, the book was already published, uh, uh, already written. Yeah. And I just left it alone, just threw it in the wardrobe out of the way. And then I was approached by somebody to say that, oh, that book you wrote, Mary, have you still got it? I said, yeah. I said, it's in the wardrobe. I said, I've never done that in English. I said, it's been filed. I said, I want to, I want to try somebody else to get it published. Anyway, so he says, uh, well, in fact, he says, there's a guy called Jamie Boyle. And he said, in fact, he said, he's put something in what you've probably wrote. You wrote about Lee Duffy and put it in the book, didn't you? Yeah. I said, well, not, no. I said, I never actually know. He said, oh, well, he said, uh, why do you have a word with him? So I did. Right. So I invited him round. And uh, he came round to my house. And then he, he said, oh, he said, with a bit of interest, he said, with some interest, he said, can I take it away? I said, yeah, by all means. He said, I'll give it to a friend of mine who uh, uh, publishes them. Publishes yeah. with Rob Brenton. I said, very fair enough. Which is Rob Brenton, Walker I Publishing. Walk, Walker yeah. Publishing, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, it was away for a few months. A few months? Yeah, it was a few few months before. Wow. I mean, I didn't even, I mean, I didn't even meet the fella until he introduced yeah. himself. You know, Jimmy Bay introduced himself to me. Right. And then I said, who's this Rob Brennan? He said, well, I'm going down to Pontefract in, on Tuesday. But next week, he says, do you right. want to come down and meet, meet him? I said, yeah, by all means. So anyway, we went down to Pontefract, arrived there, met the fella. He said, yeah, I'll be interested in uh, publishing your book. I said, well, fair enough. And then we organised uh, 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 another date to see him. Uh, he said, here's the book. Uh, I said, yeah, it's proofread. I said, it's on disc. It's in book form. We said, well, right. So there right. was nothing to do, was really it, apart nothing. from just publish it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So anyway, they just they took it up from there. And of course, and when I got the book, when the book was out, uh, in print for in uh, book form, yeah. Jimmy Boyle put his name to it, but you never asked, and I'd never asked him to yeah. do that. And all of a sudden, what, what, I, said, I asked the question, I said, what, What's the idea of this? Then, Rob, he said, Well, did you agree to something? I said, I never agreed to know. I said, I never agreed to put his name on the book with mine. I said, written, What's yeah. all, I said, What's this on the back of the book? It was like a, a signature. In, in, but you can't, you couldn't make, make it out. out yeah. You couldn't make it out. Anyway, I thought, well, something's going on. Something's going on here, but well, I didn't like it. I didn't like what was going on. Yeah. So anyway, I just said, look, I said, I'm not happy with things which I would materialised. So anyway, Jimmy Boyle turned around and said, well, I'll do this and I'll do that, all the publishing and uh, get the publisher out of it, get, uh, get you some, um, uh, get you into the, the even Gazette. And, uh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. And he said, uh, oh, we'll get you on the uh, 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 BBC, you know, the radio. <laughs> the same flannel, but what I got, yeah. Radio cheese. Uh, I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get you in the Northern Echo. Northern Echo, I never even, never even yeah, bothered, actually. It's the same rubbish, yeah. But it was just a, uh, it was just a formality. Yeah. But I wasn't very so happy. What happened next after that, then? Well, I took ill, actually. The wife had passed what, away. Yeah. And anyway... I took ill with that COVID as early as uh, as early as uh, March, uh, two thousand and twenty, and they took me in with cops in the house. And had the book been published by this time? Or not? Um, no. Um, it might have been published. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. by this time, I mean, I was. you really ill. Yeah. I was really yeah. ill. Yeah. I mean, you know, the last thing I was thinking about was. A book, yeah. I mean, I was, I was, I mean, anyway, they said that I'd passed away. Can I just ask to stop you to say what Ryan Lewis was? Was this was he, he well, was me 50 50? Was it, yeah? Well, at the time, yeah, he, 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 he pointed out those. He said, Well, he says it was 25 percent for Jamie Boyle, yeah, 25 percent for me, and you'll get 50 percent. So you'll get 50 percent, 25 yeah. each of them, yeah, right, yeah. So, so what happened when you were the COVID? Sorry, Max. So when I, had the, when I had the COVID, when I got the COVID. I didn't know nothing. I mean, yeah. Well, the son couldn't see me. My daughter couldn't see me. You know, me, 
their close family couldn't see me. They couldn't have come to the hospital. Yeah. And uh, we found out from a friend that um, I passed away three times. Yeah. While I was in there. Well, that's what Jamie and Wilde got, got, told us. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Jamie Wilde oh. told us that day, and a guy said, Mark, he's passed away, and we were devastated. So he's, he's, he said a couple of days before, well, he's not going to make it. And the next day, he said, oh, gee, he's passed away. Yeah. Go on. Sorry about that. I'm still in, Mr. Yeah, exactly. I told you I would reach him, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> three, three times he was given his last rights. I'll be and, and what's happened, as yeah, we know, as so Jamie, now he's going to be told. Jamie, Jamie Boyle because thought. you, Mr. And your friend, Mr. Brenton. Yeah. Bad people, aren't you? Yeah. Well, what Mark is on about, he's got a court case tomorrow for the same as us, uh, where the, Mr. Brenton and Mr. Boyle hasn't given any seats of any inventories, exact same as myself and Terry Dixon. The, we're the ones who are liars. He, keep, um, he thought Mark had passed away, so he thought, like Roy Shaw, Paul Sykes, all the others, I can gain on this now, I can gain. Uh, he put the rumour out all over that Mark had passed away to people, and then they started selling the book. And can you, in that two years, can you tell me how many much royalties you've received, which is money off them? Seventy-three pounds. Seventy-three what pounds. What type of payments were you getting a month from the laws? Twenty-four pence. Twenty-four, 24 pence. pence a month. A, month. A, a legend yeah. like this has just been. Somebody's yeah. just put him up for the BCA, isn't it? I've got all, I've got all, all the receipts. I've yeah. All the payments. Because Marty wasn't stupid, like was where he got it into a bank account, so it was paid. Pence Twenty-three pence. Sixteen oh. pence. Seventeen What's pence. What's the most you've ever had a month? Three pounds. Three pounds a month for a book at sell for twelve ninety five for and seventy three pounds was put into a bank account for Marty's grandson, yeah, for grandson who yeah. is disabled. Well he's got cerebral palsy. Yeah. And um that was for his grandson. He's still there, he's still there. Yeah. Yes. I'm saying no, what, what the main reason you did the book is Marty's getting on he knows he's in in health, he's on oxygen, I mean today's having a good day, but other days he's really ill. He's got COPD, COPD and he's, he's got the oxygen in the car. He's, he's got it there, yeah. But he's a lovely man, you can say he wouldn't tell lies. He's great friends with Big Joe Egan. Big Joe uh, yeah. and the, Joe Egan disgusted it and Peter discussed this man has had seventy three pounds in two years for a book he written by himself yeah. and his daughters or nieces were about typed it out, give it to them. And he, all he wanted was fifty percent of it. And they even well, he's done is even Jamie Wilde put his name on a book he never even written, and he's also changed stories in the book about Lee Duffy. Where he never even mentioned I Lee Duffy, exact same as what I've done. Yeah, he took things out of the book and put Lee, Lee Duffy's story in it. And you never put, I, no. I, I never put nothing in the book about Lee. And he can prove this because he's still got the proof of the, still got, well, still the, got the original, original manuscript. Book. Yeah, so it's all that again. So, so. It's, all, it's, it's all, it's all lies, lies. Yeah. Everything when he comes out with his lies. Yeah, he is. But uh, no, he's, but we'll have old Jay, mate. We've got old Jay in court. And Freddie Dick goes following suit. He's got one as well. He's, he's, no, the truth's got to be told. I How do you feel about it all now, Marty? And about what's going on? Well, I mean, you've 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 looked after some of the yeah. hardest people yeah. well, in the, the, the area. The hardest people in the who's area. Who've respected you? And always like well, he's what, never showed me no respect, has he? No, no. So I'm not going to show him no respect, and neither did the other fella, because both of them are just as bad as each other. Both yeah. of them are just cheats. And when we found out, robbers. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, we found out, but when we found out, we had a court letter back off the judge saying Warcry Publishing does not exist in Cook's house. So in other words, it doesn't exist. It's not a company. It's not a company. It's made up. So people are getting books done by them. You look in one company house, you'll see if we're lying. We're not telling lies. And there's court case after court. Yeah. We've got four court cases going on against him. Marty's got a court case, and Terry Dickwell's got a court case. They haven't paid, paid, Terry's not getting paid either. Not, no money whatsoever. And we just get paid. It's at one pound twenty or four pound or two pound or six pound. Yeah. How can you ca calculate it's that much? But they're still selling their books yeah. online and benefiting from the books. And well, they, they thought Marty was dead. That's what they yeah. thought. Oh, we'll, we'll gain here. Like they did, like they say, was Roy Shaw. They've done the same now. Just disrespecting that man who was a legend. Well, I, would, I, I mean, I would like to know how he found, how he found out mm. that I was. Yeah. What people were saying I was I passed away. Yeah, exactly. And he's advertised a book lately, uh, hiding yeah. your name, I think, Matty. Yeah, yeah. well, he put his thumb over it. Well, he does say, for instance, like this is saying, yeah. that's Matty's name this side of the book. Jamie will put his hand over Matty's side of the book and go, yeah. buy this book from Jamie Boyle. It's got Jamie Boyle written on here. 
whatever side it's on. And you the know. book is still being sold on multiple platforms. All over the world. I don't believe that. They yeah. have been selling, yeah. I oh, don't believe that. Yeah. The same yeah. as with my book. Uh, Brian didn't even get a payment this month. I haven't had no payment this last month. Oh. I got £20, two pence for documentary, audio book, Kindle book, paperback book. Just absolute joke. Not even a pound, a pound a week, you know. It's, uh, what is it? Two pound a month or something. Pardon me. Um, two pound a week, sorry. Over four months, it works out a pound, a pound a week for four different items. Well, there's a while sat in there calling everyone names yeah. and saying anything, making yeah. lies up about everything, yeah. making all this rubbish up about people. Everyone's a liar except him. And all these other people, he's trolled and trolled and trolled, yeah. all that. And all, all that's going to come out in the end as well. So, yeah. yeah because so I, I think now we were ups upset like Apple Card. Yeah. We're telling people the truth. So that that to me, obviously, I mean. Well, look at Marty. You, you can just tell he's a man, man, man. He's a legend. He's one of the most respected men. He is. Uh, going for the things he did in Grangetown. And I mean, I mean Peter Hall loved him. Uh, Lee Duffy yeah. loved him. Uh, Tommy Hall loved him. Everybody so well respected by yeah. all the lads. And then you've got a little upstart like that coming yeah. along. Taking robbing him, work robbing that him. done. Yeah. And, and the memoirs. thing is, is I've seen the memoirs and that book and everything with the brain what he's put. He's taken some of them out just to put more Lee Duffy stories in to bully yeah. himself up again. It's, it's what he's done with yeah. my, That's why I said no to the to the, the, the tax the tax man book when we were done with him. Right? I wouldn't yeah. do it with him. And uh, we wouldn't do it. So when we heard this today, we're absolutely I'm absolutely you know, inside your heart, it's just yeah. Broken from absolutely brought and he's done this for his son who's got cerebral palsy, his grandson's got cerebral palsy. He doesn't want a penny. This is all into his Grandson's bank, seventy odd pound in two years. Over forty-five what years. What an embarrassment! For the community. Yeah, forty-seven yeah. years. Is it forty-seven yeah. years of work for this man to come yeah. along, and he written his own book, and they've ripped him off. How yeah. despicable is that? How Joe despicable? Egan was Joe Egan was talking to us last week, saying absolutely disgusting. This man, he needs to expose. He needs yeah. people need to know what this man's doing. So yeah, so. He got you up as well, didn't he, Marty Joe? Joe. <laughs> yeah. Character, he? How did you meet Joe? I met him. We went on a trip to, I took them all over Denmark. Uh, the, uh, well, the few boxes. And uh, we went to Denmark and we took on the Danes down in a place called Esbeg. Right. And uh, we came we came away successful. Half oh, good. But uh, it was in the, the event of coming down, when we came back home, uh, there, there was a few black guys amongst <laughs> the congregation, which was the Germans. Right, and uh, the, 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 the inspector, the chief inspector from uh, Folkestone, he looks like they never won this one either, did they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, 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 what was Joe's big tip to you when you regret oh, today? Oh, that, oh, that was yeah, everybody else back Mike Tyson to be the youngest ever. Um, but Joe knew him out in America, and he'd been yeah. there, yeah. Well, Joe, yeah, he, 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 he stayed with him, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, he said, he said, back this guy, he says he's 21 year old, he says he's going to be the next youngest ever world champion. And everybody else. 20 year old, he was. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, yeah. 20. Anyway, um, yeah. as it happened, he, he won the world title, didn't he? And uh, everybody was honest, all the lads and everything, and of course, I went back to him. <laughs> I've talked to Joe the week about you. He said, Oh, look, Marty, he's great fun. He rang you as well, didn't he, Marty? Yeah, he rang you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's coming to see us there. Yeah. Any yeah. time now, he's so, going to do yeah. a live stream. We're going to do a live stream with him as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. great, great guy, Joe, and himself. Yeah. That's, some good, that's, that's some good fun. Yeah. Um, I always remember Joe going, he going and getting in the ring, you know, he's got in, the, got in the ring and he had a bouquet of flowers, the daffodils. And uh, he was throwing them at the crowd, but the, every 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 daffodil always landed on a girl's lap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never a boy, <laughs> We're on you, Joe. We're on you, big Joe. <laughs> uh, he's trying yeah. to deny it. I said, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah he can try. He's good, isn't he? Uh, oh, he's a, he's a kind of Joe. What was it like working uh, all them years with all the kids and seeing the transformations that uh, you did in them? Well, you see them now. You see the grandkids. I see all the grandkids now. You know what I mean? You see the son. Well, the are good kids, like. Yeah. yeah, I love kids. I love yeah, them. I know you do. Matt, he's just been nominated for a British Citizens Award. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little thing what uh, people have. Which I think you should be, what you've done, mate. OBE, yeah. maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't want to hold that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the work you've done in great town. Yeah, a lot of work. There's a lot of people done that. So we just thought we'd get that out today, yeah. let you know. 
uh, what's yeah. happened. Yeah. And uh, Marty doesn't like you can see the man's no. a legend in there. We, Marty's we, at court tomorrow. Yeah, we're at court tomorrow for disclosure because he hasn't had none for the same as us. We've asked for in, in buying inventories. Like like people going to work for, and you want an, you want an invoice <coughs> or you want a pay slip every month. Now the judges already told them to give me disclosure and they still haven't done it. They're still not doing it. Because you know why? Because they haven't got none. Because yeah. that does not exist, Warcry Publishing. So, yeah. right, we'll, we'll leave it there. And thank you, Marty. And uh, thank Thanks you, folks. And uh, listening. listen to us. And we'll uh, see you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Was I like that? Yeah, believe it. Can't get it off. Can't get it off.